Hey everyone, this is Vapsa here, and in today's video, we'll be looking at this really amazing Skrigal Vision shader, which is really nice. Uh, it's a shader which is also known as uh, many other effects, uh, such as uh, we call it shimmer or boiling lines and other things like that. And uh, it helps emulate hand drawn frame by frame, frame by frame look. This is the shader's original source, and uh, you can find the link in the description where you can just copy and paste the shader into uh, you know in Gido and you'll be able to use the shader and that's it so let's go ahead and uh, just take a look at how the shader is working so uh, first of all you'll just get our image and uh, it's it's a uh, you know image by image shader so you have to apply it to you know every image you want to apply this effect to or you can just create a you know canvas item or you know, a sub viewport or viewport container and add a shader to that so it you know gets and adds the effect to hold viewport uh, it's all up to you so what we can do is when I select this object you can go to the material tab you're going to create a new shader material click on it in the shader tab create a new shader we're going to name it anything boiling lines and nice we can create it click on it to open it up in the shader or editor or shader writer whatever and uh, uh, at this point you can just buy the shader yourself or just go ahead and go to the link copy the shader and uh, come in Gido select control A, A to select all and control V to paste it we're not still done yet you would see some sort of movement going around here but it's not working right now you go to the squiggle tab on the shaders properties uh, be sure you have the shader selected I mean the icon here is kind of bluish and you can go to the squiggle tab right down here and here you need to select the noise because uh, it uses noise to drive this effect you can go ahead and select this create our noise structure 2D go ahead and go to the noise tab and create a new fast noise click on it and uh, you got the effect you can of course uh, now use the you know anything you want you can change the value to increase the or decrease the effect of the noise or of course you got uh, the effects here which is the uh, if you go around here uh, you can see the effects here which is the number of squiggles per second and uh, you can just change this FPS and if you want you can increase this to something like a 20 it will look value by the way and uh, save it and it's gonna squiggle more and you can just choose the effect you want oops and you got it and uh, you can of course change the frequency and there's other you know effects and stuff you can customize about this as well it's like seed get different effects for different objects and other kind of stuff one thing is that you don't need to create this shader for everyone you know every object you want I mean it is quite obvious you can just save the materials as a material you know save it and apply it to every object you want this is some the simplest way to do it and uh, yeah uh, the best way would be to have a uh, you know trimmed background so but you know this uh, plain background does give it a real good example that the scroll effect is not affecting the white background because it's just literally white so it is affecting it but you can't really see it so it's really nice effect and uh, you can use it to create things like uh, menus and even squiggle characters and give them uh, you know a little, little bit of a hand drawing ish look and uh, I'm, I would probably use it with menus and uh, buttons to give them uh, you know some sort of movement to static objects uh, and it's f pretty fun effect and yeah that's it for today's video uh, I hope it wasn't too long uh, I know I get a lot of complaints for how much I yap about stuff so yeah